these fingers around yourself, girl. <laughs> and if you don't know who Phoebe Buffay is, she's the tall blonde in Friends. <laughs> and if you don't know what Friends is, fuck you, you're too young! <laughs> I'm Canadian. And in Canada, we are trained to deal with wild animals, in particular bears. <laughs> but I realized the other day that bears and alcoholics, the rules kind of work the same way. <laughs> so number one, if a bear or alcoholic is running at you, you run downhill because they're a little bit wobbly on their legs. <laughs> they will run down past you. Only problem is, when they're at the bottom of the hill, they seem to get very agile and start running back up at you. So you do number two. You be very loud and very big and scream and yell and say, fuck you, no way, and throw things at them. And if that doesn't work, you do number three. You curl in a ball, drop on the ground, protect all your vital organs, and pray they don't kill you. <laughs> That's dating in Canada. Woo! <laughs> now, I'm with the right crowd tonight, I think. <laughs> How many people like to have sex with finger up the bone? <laughs> when I say that to the straight crowds, they're a bit like, <laughs> not you guys. Now let me just say, I know some of you might be thinking that's too soon or too deep or not enough foreplay. <laughs> Welcome to be a woman. <laughs> a straight woman, I should say. <laughs> um, there's one thing I've realized as well, that pinball machines and women have a lot in common. <laughs> we light up when you hit all the right spots. <laughs> Two, we get balls hitting all over us. <laughs> Three, we will drain you dry before you realize it. <laughs> now, let's just say, I have a bit of a problem picking men. I'm on my second divorce. Oh, oh, I got them. Oh, I never know if people are gonna go. Woo! Oh. It's shit, actually. It's always shit. You know, breaking up's hard to do. Um, but anyway, I'm just gonna say, when I pick my guys, if they were on Tinder, they'd all have all oholic on the end of it. Seems to be my type of guy. Um, now I will say that uh, part of my problem is the way I kind of treat them. My first, my second husband, his first photo that he gave me was the size of a passport photo. Now this is the first size of my dog! Oh. <laughs> and it's even bigger than she is because she's on the lap over there. <laughs> so there you go. I'm a little bit distorted and I've done for my dog what I've never done for either of my husbands. I've written her a song. <laughs> Some enchanted afternoon, you may see a doggy, you may see a doggy across a crowded market, and somehow you know, you know even then that somehow you'll pet her again and again. <laughs> Some enchanted evening, you may come to a comedy club, you may come to a comedy club in a pub or two and not get paid. <laughs> and somehow you know, you know even then, that somehow you'll never leave her like the man. And a couple of little anecdotes, just to finish my, because I still have 30 fucking seconds left. <laughs> I'm gonna take it. <laughs> Phoebe Buffay, she got to marry Paul Rudd. <laughs> Damn it, I didn't. <laughs> but she can't do this. Smelly cat, smelly cat. <laughs>